Good morning po sa bawat isa. Welcome to our prayer encounter. Sa so, umaga pong ito, sama-sama tayong umawit ng papuri ng pagsamba sa ating Diyos na buhay. We praise your name, Jesus. We honor you, God. Oh God, we want to experience your nearness upon our lives.
just a tear bent a floor The water is on my soul Long it after thee You alone are my heart Desire and alone to worship thee so As the dear As the dear planted for The water so my soul Long it after thee And you Desire and alone to worship Thee, and You alone are my strength, my shield. To You alone, may my spirit yield. Desire and alone to worship Thee. You're my friend, and You are my brother, even though You are a king. And I And I want you more than gold or silver, only you can satisfy. You alone are the real joy giver and the apple of my And alone to worship Thee, and alone to worship Thee. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your name, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise your name, Lord. We glorify your name. Panginoon, kagaya nga po ng awitin na aming inawit. That as the tear longs for the streams of water, so our souls long for you. Kailangan namin ng iyong presensya, Panginoon. Holy Spirit, 
We need you in our lives. And we worship you. It is our desire to worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa katapat na mo sa aming mga buhay. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness, for your faithfulness. Sabi nga po, Panginoon, sa iyong mga salita, that your mercies and faithfulness are new every morning. Hallelujah. And today, Lord, kami po ay patuloy po na lumalapit sa inyo at itinataas ang aming bansa. Sinabi mo, Panginoon, sa iyong mga salita, that blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. And right now, we are declaring from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao that you are the God of this country. Maraming salamat, Panginoon. Ikaw lamang ang aming itatanghal sa aming mga buhay. Ikaw lamang ang aming iluluklok sa bansang Pilipinas. Panginoon, marami rin po salamat maging sabayan po ng Pampanga. Maraming salamat sa magalang. Panginoon, patuloy po na pagpalain mo ang aming bayan. Maraming salamat sa iyong pagpapala at sa bawat lugar dito sa Pilipinas, patuloy po namin pinapatakan ng iyong banal na dugo. Continually bless our nation and we rebuke poverty in the name of Jesus. We rebuke drugs and addiction. We rebuke kung ano man po yung bankruptcy. We, we rebuke any recession sa aming bansa. And today, Lord, marami rin po salamat sa aming, sa aming Presidente. Lord, we thank you for His life. Kasama ang kanyang cabinet members. Maraming salamat rin po, Panginoon, maging ang IATF. Continually give them wisdom. Na patuloy po, magkaroon po sila ng plano na i-execute nila upang masug po ang pandemic sa aming bansa. Marami rin po salamat, Panginoon, sa aming po mga frontliners. Continually, Lord, we pray for them. Protect them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are speaking your blood upon them. Cover them with your blood in the name of Jesus. Marami rin po salamat, Panginoon, maging po sa aming ekonomiya. We thank you, Lord, for the growth and progress sa aming bansa. Patuloy po, Panginoon, ang aming mga economic managers ay magkaroon ng wisdom. Magkaroon po ng direction that will promote inclusive growth and business climate that, that invites our, our investors, O God. Maraming salamat sa peace and order. Maraming rin po salamat, Panginoon, maging sa kagalingan ng aming mga kababayan na naging infected po ng COVID-19. And we thank you, Lord, sa aming mga medical staff, sa aming mga scientists na patuloy po na nagtatrabaho upang makadiscover ng isang, ng, ng isang potent vaccine. Maraming salamat, Panginoon. And to do, today, Lord, maraming rin po salamat maging sa National Revival. We thank you, Lord, for the protection and deliverance ng aming bansa sa pangalan ni Jesus. Sa pangalan ni Jesus. And Lord, Patuloy po, idinadalangin din po namin ang aming mga local government. Lord, magmula sa aming mga opisyales, sa aming, mga go sa aming governor, sa aming pong vice governor, maging po sa mga board members namin, sa aming mayor, sa aming vice mayor, sa mga kapitan. Patuloy po, Panginoon, na i-unite po sila in the name of Jesus. Bigyan po sila ng wisdom na masuk po ang COVID-19 sa bawat barangay. Marami rin po salamat, Panginoon, maging sa mga churches. Patuloy po, Panginoon, na makuroon po ng growth sa bawat simbahan. Lord, thank you for the body of Christ. Marami po salamat, Panginoon, sa bawat leader. Maraming salamat sa bawat pastor. Continually protect them, Lord, and continually anoint them. Give them strength, O God, in the name of Jesus, na hindi po mapagod sa lahat ng gagawin sa iyong ministeryo. And it is indeed, Lord, a joy in our hearts to serve you and to serve your people. And Lord, sa mga simbahang ito, we pray for unity. We pray for every evangelism activities and discipleship. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa bawat Kristiyano for they will become an influential people. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, for they will become as light. They will become salt sa mundo ito sa pangalan ni Jesus. Maraming salamat, mag maging sa power ng Holy Spirit na patuloy po na magkakasi sa amin. Hallelujah. 
And today, Lord, patuloy po na itinataas din po namin ng Hills of Glory Church. We thank you, Lord, for the Hills of Glory magalang. Maraming salamat sa aming mga outreaches mula sa Mabalakat, sa Pandakaki, sa Masantol, sa Concepcion, and even in Hong Kong. Lord, we pray for growth and multiplication sa mga simbahang to. Maraming salamat sa bawat ministry. Maraming salamat sa bawat network. Maraming salamat sa bawat cell group. And Lord, today we are declaring na ang bawat network ay lalago. Ang bawat cell group ay magmumultiply sa pangalan ni Jesus. Sa pangalan ni Jesus. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, for you will raise up more leaders, servant leaders, O God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa mga strategies na patuloy po ibibigay mo sa aming simbahan to open cell groups. We thank you, Lord, for the effective soul-winning strategy. And we thank you, Lord, for the powerful preaching that inspires, heals, and makes people more closer to God. Maraming salamat sa spiritual growth and maturity. We thank you, Lord, for the holiness and fruitfulness. We thank you, Lord, for the financial breakthroughs. Maraming salamat, Panginoon. And even sa buhay po ng aming mga pamilya. Lord, continually, continually bless our families and loved ones. Lord, kagaya po ng sinabi ni Joshua, As for me and our household, we will serve you, Lord. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, sapagkat naniniwala kami. Darating ang araw, kasama namin ang aming mga pamilya, kami ay maglilingkod. Lord, continually protect our families in the name of Jesus. We are declaring breakthroughs upon breakthroughs. We are declaring miracle upon miracles. Maraming salamat, Panginoon. And Lord, maraming rin po salamat sa buhay po ng aming mga mentors. We continue to bless Pastor Mark. We bless Pastor Gwen at ang lahat ng mga resident pastors, O God, and even the ordained pastors. Lord, continue to anoint them. Bless them, Lord. Protect them. Give them good health and strength in the name of Jesus. And today, Lord, we also thank you for the nation of Israel. We bless Israel. Sinabi mo, Panginoon, kung sino man ang magpala sa bansang Israel ay pagpapalain mo. And today, Lord, we are declaring your blessings upon Israel in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, marami rin po salamat sa bawat prayer requests, sa bawat personal petition ng aking mga kapatid nasa bahay man po na nananalangin Lord, I, am ag- I agree in, in their prayers maraming salamat sa katugunan ng aming mga panalangin Lord, sa lahat po na nangangailangan ng kagalingan, you are declaring healing upon them, upon their lives O God, in the name of Jesus sinabi mo Panginoon sa iyong mga salita that by your wound and stripes O God, we are already healed and today Lord, we are declaring the blood of the Lamb sa kanilang mga buhay sa pangalan ni Jesus sa pangalan ni Jesus and Lord marami salamat sa araw na to we will celebrate your goodness oh God because this is the day that you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it maraming salamat sa iyong salita sa pangalan ni Jesus this is our prayer Amen 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 Hallelujah Praise the Lord Good morning po sa bawat isa sa ating mga kapatid na nasa kanilang mga bahay, isang napaagandang umaga po sa ating lahat. It is indeed a great joy to stay and to linger in God's presence, especially po kung tayo ay nagsumasamba sa ating Panginoon. Hallelujah. Um, meron po akong mga napag-isip-isip, mga napagtanto po sa, sa mga oras na ito, especially in these trying times na meron po tayong pandemic, it is so important to have a healthy mind. In fact, Kabi-kabilaan ng mga seminars regarding mental health. Many people have anxiety, fear, and even depression. Many are discouraged. And according to philstar.com, there are about 3.3 million Filipinos suffers from depression as of August 2019. And then meron siyang ibinigay na tatlong symptoms. And the following are helplessness, hopelessness, and helpless. 
Ito yung mga taong to, they are, they are so discouraged sa kanilang mga buhay dahil feeling nila wala ng pag-asa. And kamakailan lang, our Justice Secretary, si Secretary Menardo Guevara, says that IATF is alarmed by the rising rate of suicidal incidents in the country and, and they are urging the religious leaders to help address the phenomenon. Kaya lang ang tanong, what if hindi lang mental health ang kailangan i-address natin? What if you are experiencing these symptoms and not mentally, but spiritually? Kung meron tayo palang tinatawag na depression mentally, even spiritually, maaring ka rin palang tamaan. At pag sinabi natin depression, hindi naman ibig sabihin kaagad-agad clinical eh. Hindi naman, hindi naman kaagad-agad mental eh. According to Cambridge English Dictionary, depression is the state of feeling very unhappy and without hope for the future. Or yung synonyms ito is downcast o kaya naman you are discouraged. And hindi ibig sabihin na Christian ka, hindi ka na maaaranas ng downcast o yung tinatawag nating discouragement. In fact, even Billy Graham, a great man of God, siya rin umamin na mayroong mga punto sa kanyang buhay na, na, na nakakaranas din siya ng discouragement. And according to him, the Christian life is not a constant high. I have moments of deep discouragement. Hindi lang basta discouragement, it is a deep discouragement. I have to go in prayer with tears in my eyes. and say, O oh God, forgive me or help me. And even hindi lang si Billy Graham, in the Bible, meron din tayo mga mababasa na mga napakatinding lingkod ng Panginoon. Mer- mayroong propeta, pero pero naranasan niya once in his life, nar- naranasan niyang madiscourage ng todo. If, even Elijah, the great prophet, dumanas din. No? And actually, there's a passage in the Bible wherein makikita natin merong isang salmis na kung saan yung kanyang puso talagang pinuro out niya sa Panginoon no? nung siya ay nakakaranas ng discouragement sa kanyang buhay. Ang sabi ng Psalms chapter 42 in the New Living Translation, As the deer longs for streams of water, so I long for you, O God. I thirst for God the living God. Day and night, I have only tears for food, while my enemies continually taunt me, saying, where is this God of yours? Makikita po natin doon palang sa verse 1, talagang kinoconfirm na, ng, kinoconfirm na ng psalmist that is, he is spiritually discouraged or, yung, or spiritually depressed because ikinompare niya yung sarili niya sa isang, sa isang usah. sa isang din na kung saan hinahanap niya ang tubig. No? Siya hinahanap niya talaga ang presensya ng Panginoon. And in verse 4, ang sabi niya, My heart is breaking as I remember how it used to be. I walk among the crowds of worshippers leading a great procession to the house of God, singing for a joy and giving thanks amid the sound of a great celebration. Naalala niya yung kanyang dating bu- yung buhay niya nung, nung hindi pa siya nailalayo sa templo. Kasi magtataka ka bakit bakit he longs for the presence of God. Pero dati kasama siya doon sa in the middle of the celebration na kung saan they are worshiping the living God. And in verse 5, dito na niya sinabi yung kanyang discouragement. Ang sabi niya, why am I discouraged? Sa ibang translation ang ginamit niya. Depressed. Why am I depressed? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise Him again, my Savior and my God. Verse 6. Now I am deeply discouraged, but I will remember you. Even from distant Mount Hermon, the source of the Jordan, from the land of Mount Bizarre. Kanina ang sabi ng psalmist natin, I am discouraged. 
Pero isang verse lang yung pagitan. Ang sabi niya, Now, I am deeply. Meron pa siyang word na deeply. I am deeply discouraged. Pero ang sabi niya, I will remember you. So, aalalalahanin pa rin niya ang Panginoon. And in verse 7, ang sabi niya dito, I hear the tumult of the raging seas as your waves and surging tides sweep over me. But each day the Lord pours His unfailing love upon me. And through each night, I sing His songs, praying to God who gives me life. O God, my rock, I cry. Why have you forgotten me? Why must I wander around in grief, oppressed by my enemies? Their thoughts break my bones. They scoff. Where is this God of yours? And then in verse 11, inulit niya ulit yung verse 5. Ang sabi niya, why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise Him again, my Savior and my God. Praise be the reading of the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. According to Charles H. Spurgeon's Treasury of David, it is the cry of a man far removed from the outward ordinances and worship of God, sighing for the long love house of his God, and at the same time, it is the voice of a spiritual believer. Under depressions, longing for the renewal of the divine presence, struggling with doubts and fears, but yet holding his ground by faith in the living God. It is probable that David's fight from Absalom may have been the occasion for composing this maskil. So, makikita mo dito, yung psalmist talaga, part siya, ng, parang part siya ng worship team. No? Parang siya nga yung song leader. And then suddenly, nawala. No? At nung nawala, parang yung puso niya, parang na-break. No? Parang naging broken-hearted siya. And then tumating sa punto ng kanyang buhay, hinahanap-hanap niya ang presensya ng Panginoon. Na-feel niya yung discouragement. And to the point, ang sabi nga ni Charles Spurgeon, parang ano na siya eh, depressed na siya. Amen? Ang tanong, kung tayo ang makaka-experience nito when we are longing for God's presence, how are we going to overcome spiritual depressions or discouragement? That's why I entitled this message, Overcoming Spiritual Depression, or yung tinatawag nating discouragement. Number one, how to overcome spiritual depression or discouragement? You have to encourage yourself in the Lord by putting your confidence in Him. Ano, ano yun? Discourage ka, tapos ang gagawin mo, i-encourage mo yung sarili mo. Kung i-encourage mo lang yung sarili mo at your own strength, wala talagang mangyayari. Kung i-encourage mo yung sarili mo sa tulong ng ibang tao, sometimes naaatulong, pero minsan, hindi rin eh. No? Pero one thing is for sure, para ma-encourage ka, you have to encourage yourself in the Lord by putting your confidence in Him. Mababasa natin yan in verse 5 and verse 11. Basahin natin in NLT version. Sabi ng verse 5 at 11, pareho lang siya. Why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise Him again, my Savior and my God. Dito inamin ng salmis na siya ay discouraged. And in TPT version, the Passion Translation, ang sabi niya dito ng verse 5, so then, my soul, why would you be depressed? Ang ginamit niya dito is depressed. Why would you sink into despair? Just keep hoping and waiting on God, your Savior. For no matter what, I will sing with praise. For living before His face is my saving grace. Napakatindi ng salmis kung i-encourage niya yung sarili niya. Kani-kanina lang ang sabi niya, Why am I discouraged? Why my heart so sad? Pero pagkatapos nun, in-encourage niya yung sarili niya sa Panginoon. Ang sabi niya, I will hope 
in God. Discouraged na pero pero still, ang sabi niya, I will hope in God. Amen? If you want to encourage yourself in the Lord, you have to hope in God. And then pangalawa, you praise Him again and again. Kaya nga ang sabi niya kanina, I will praise Him again. Napakaganda ng ano eh, napakaganda ng TPT version. Hindi lang siya, I will praise Him again. Ang sabi niya sa verse 11, So I say to my soul, don't be discouraged. Don't be disturbed. For I know my God will break through for me. Then, I have plenty of reasons to praise Him all over again. Yes, living before His face is my saving grace. So, kapag ikaw dumaranas ka ng spiritual depression or discouragement, all you have to do, aside from hoping in the Lord, you have to sing for the Lord. Praise Him again and again. At ang sabi ng psalmist, I have plenty of reasons to praise Him or to sing His praise again. Kumanta ka lamang kapatid. Just praise the Lord. Ano man yung circumstances mo sa buhay mo, you just have to sing for the Lord. Worship the Lord. Hanapin mo yung kanyang presensya. At yung pangatlo, putting your confidence in God by declaring God in your life. Napakatindi. Discouraged na siya. Pero at the end, declare niya ang Panginoon sa kanyang buhay. Ang sabi niya, my Savior and my God. Amen? Let us continually declare the Lord in our lives para ma-encourage tayo. In short, ang tawag natin doon, putting our confidence in Him. Discouraged ka man, pero confident ka na meron kang Diyos. Amen? And even King David, merong isang point sa kanyang buhay na kung saan nakarana siya ng distress, pero in-encourage niya yung sarili niya sa Panginoon. Ang sabi ng 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 6, And David was greatly distressed, for the people spake of, us, of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. Amen? Kaya nga ang sabi na ng Isaiah chapter 26 verse 3, You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Amen? So, ang kailangan lang natin talagang gawin, let us trust the Lord. Let us give our confidence in Him para magkaroon tayo ng tinatawag na perfect peace. Amen? Pangalawa, how to overcome spiritual discouragement or depression? All you have to do is to remember God and His unfailing love. Ang sabi ng verse 6 hanggang 8 sa binasa natin kanina, Now, I am deeply discouraged, but I will remember you. Even from distant Mount Hermon, the source of the Jordan from the land of Mount Mizar. I hear the tumult of raging seas as your waves and surging tides sweep over me. But each day, the Lord pours His unfailing love upon me. And through each night, I sing His songs, praying to God who gives me life. Alam niyo dito sa mga binasa nating verses, napakatinding ng, ng word na but. Every time na naaaranas ka pala ng discouragement sa buhay mo, lalong-lalo na spiritually, all you have to do, dapat meron kang word na but. Ang sabi kanina, now I am deeply discouraged, but I will remember the Lord. I will remember you. And then, ang sabi pa ng verse 7, I hear the tumult of the raging seas as your waves and surging tides sweep over me. But, meron na naman siyang but, each day, the Lord pours His unfailing love upon me. Kung nararanasan mo o nafeel mo, na feeling mo, deeply discouraged ka na. Ang sabi nga, parang malulunod ka na eh. Pero alalahanin mo, meron pa rin naman yung word na but. But, let us remember the Lord our God. Let us remember His unfailing love. Amen? Kaya nga, in, in the book of Lamentations, chapter 3, verses 22 to 23, ang sabi niya dito, 
The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. In times of depression, in times of discouragement, kapatid, always remember God's mercies and love for us. Always remember His faithfulness for us. Amen? At hindi pa nagbabago yan. They are new every morning. Amen? And the last one. How to overcome spiritual depression? You have to long and rest in God's presence. Ano nga ba yung dahilan? Bakit yung psalmist, bakit discouraged siya? Ano nga ba yung dahilan? Bakit yung psalmist, parang nagkakaroon na siya ng depression? Ang sabi niya, yung, yung puso niya, parang na daw, na, na, nabibreak na yung puso niya. And then, he is deeply, deeply sad. He is so sad. Alam mo kapatid, iisa lang naman yung dahilan bakit nararanasan mo yun eh. Bakit nararamdaman mo, mo yan spiritually? Because you are not in the presence of God. So ang dapat gawin natin pala, let us always long. And then kapag nahanap mo yung presensya ng Panginoon, you have to rest in His presence. Kaya nga ang sabi ng Psalms chapter 42 verses 1 to 2, yun yung pinakauna niya eh. Yun yung punot dulo eh. Ang sabi niya, As the deer longs for streams of water, so I long for you, O God. I thirst for God, the living God. When can I go and stand before Him? Yun naman pala. Kaya pala na discourage yung psalmist na ito because he is longing, he is craving for God's presence. Imagine, buong buhay niya sumasamba ine enjoy ang presensya ng Panginoon. And then one day, hindi na niya ito maranasan. Hindi niya na ito na-experience. Anong gagawin mo? What if? Na-experience mo na yung, yung presensya ng Panginoon. Just like the deer. Imagine the deer. Tumatakbo yan. Nasa disyerto. And then naghahanap siya ng tubig na maiinom. Dapat ganyan din tayo sa Panginoon. Let us continually thirst for God's presence. Medically speaking, ang sabi, people who suffer from discouragement or depression, they need the, the presence, the love and support of their families. Totoo yun. If you are mentally depressed, discouraged ka, kailangan mo yung presensya ng iyong pamilya. So the people who are spiritually discouraged need also the presence. Not just the people around you, but the presence of God. Amen? Kaya nga ang sabi ko dito, if you feel you are spiritually depressed, all you need is a deep rest in God's presence. Ulitin ko yon. If you feel you are spiritually depressed, all you need is a deep rest in God's presence. Amen. And as I end, gusto ko lang basahin ulit yung lyrics ng kinanta natin kanina, yung worship natin na As the Deer. Ang sabi niya, As the Deer panted for the water, so my soul longs after you. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. Napaganda ng lyrics. Kamukha ng usa na naghahanap ng tubig. Yung kaliluwa ko, Panginoon, uhaw na uhaw sa iyo. And then ang sabi niya, You alone are my heart's desire. Ang tanong, ang puso mo ba, dinidesire pa ba ang presensya ng Panginoon? And then ang sabi niya, And I long to worship you. Yung word na long, Tinignan ko yung ibig sabihin niya, ang sabi, craving. Yung parang inahanap-hanap mo. Inahanap-hanap mo ang pagsamba mo sa Panginoon. And then ang sabi pa niya, You alone are my strength, my shield. So you alone may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart desire. And I long 
to worship you. Amen? Inulit-ulit-ulit that you are my heart's desire and I long to worship you. Kapatid, sa oras na ito, let us learn how to value the opportunity that we experience God's presence in our worship. Hanggang may opportunity ka na i-worship ang Panginoon, then do it. If you have an opportunity to join in corporate worship, then do so. Even though we have virtual na worship, nasa bahay ka, pwede ka naman mag-worship. Pero iba pa rin eh, kapag ikaw kasama mo yung congregation and then you are celebrating God's presence. You are celebrating God's goodness. Kung titignan mo yung psalmist, pwede naman siya. Pwede na naman yung hanapin yung Panginoon. But still, ang naaalala ng psalmist, yung congregation, yung kasama siya, na sabay-sabay sila in a corporate worship, they are enjoying and seeking God's presence. Kapatid, if you have an opportunity, then come and join us in worship. Amen? Kaya nga ang sabi ng Psalms 27 verse 4, ang sabi ni King David, One thing I have desired of the Lord, that I will seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in His temple. Ang sabi ni King David, iisa lang naman yung desire niya eh. Only one thing. Alin yun? Is to seek and dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of his life. Sana tayo ganyan din. Habang buhay, ang hahanapin natin ang presensya ng Panginoon. Hanggat meron pa tayong pagkakataon. Kaya nga ang sabi ng Isaiah 55 verse 6, Seek the Lord while He may be found. Call on Him while He is near. Hihintay mo pa ba yung pagkakataon na, na hinahanap mo yung Panginoon tapos hindi mo na siya mahanap katulad ng salmis? To the point na maglolong ka na talaga sa presence, to the point na madidiscourage ka na, kapatid sa oras na ito, continually let us seek the presence of the Lord. Let us make an effort to worship our living God and let us value this opportunity for us to worship God nang sa ganon maiwasan natin at ma-overcome natin yung tinatawag na spiritual depression o yung tinatawag natin spiritual discouragement. Let us stay, linger in the presence of the Lord. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this wonderful day. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, sapagkat naranasan ka namin. Naranasan namin ang presensya mo sa aming pagsambah. Panginoon, katulad po ni Haring David, there is only thing that we desire that we may dwell in your house all the days of our lives. And Lord, allow us to seek you. Allow us to stay and linger in your presence because in your presence, there is peace. In your presence, there is joy. And in your presence, there is freedom. Maraming salamat, Painon, sa kalayaan na maranasan ka namin. Maraming salamat sa kalayaan na masamba ka namin. And Lord, sa oras na ito, we continually asking for your presence. We continually thirst for you, O God. We long for you, O Lord. We admit, Panginoon, that apart from you, we can do nothing. Dahil kailangan ka namin sa aming mga buhay. Panginoon, sa kaorasang ito, I am speaking fire sa lahat po ng kapatid ko na nakikinig ng iyong salita. Lord, continually uplift our spirit in the name of Jesus. Set us on fire, O God, in Jesus' mighty name. At sa bawat araw, at sa bawat oras na inahanap ka namin, Panginoon, allow us to experience your nearness. Maraming salamat, Panginoon. Bless everyone, kasama ang aming mga pamilya. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, this is our prayer. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah.